All right, Level of Rex here, and today's video is coming out a little, little late. That's because I haven't had much time to get to it, but it's kind of an opinion piece. It's essentially going to be my five, the five things I'm most excited for coming in 10.1.5. It's not everything, but it's what I'm most excited for. Excited for. So first things first, Augmentation Evoker. It's gonna be my new raid main. I'm excited to be able to pop off, buff my team, do all the fancy stuff, give them cooldown, give them main stat, give the tank some scales, maybe buff a little healer, you know. For me, I've seen like two builds, one where you're mo helping healer, one where you're helping DPS, you'd probably be mostly DPS, but you never know when you want to be like, you know what, let me just get a little extra healing for this fight or whatnot. Maybe you could do the extra healing versus having an extra healer in a raid, maybe. Who knows? But what I'm most excited for is the new spec support style. I wonder where this will go. I'm excited to play it, and we'll see how it does. Number two. This freaking mega dungeon. I haven't done it on the PTR. I'm excited to get into it. And it looks crazy interesting. And uh, I can't wait. Uh, it looks to be hard, but they did nerf it a little bit. So I wonder how it's going to fall as far as difficulty. Hopefully I'll be able to get it done um, quick enough is what I'm hoping. That's all that I care about. Me. You know. But yeah, I'm excited for the Mega Dungeon. And, and shout out to the story with that. I'm excited to do the Eon Fringe stuff over here. I was just checking it out a little bit. I haven't been doing much. I kind of want to be surprised and see what it looks like on live. Because there are hidden stuff. Next up. Alright, next up is a very simple thing. I'm excited that the, the Catalyst is going to work for Season 1 stuff. Alright. The Revival Catalyst is going to start working for Season 1, Infinite, and it turns out the Dragonflight one will be able to work for Season 3 and 4 of Shadowlands. So you can just convert all tier gear there. Not all tier gear in a history, but the tier that has been convertible uh, in the past. Um, that brings us to number 4, speaking about tier gear from the past. I'm excited for the Nax and Skullomance stuff. I've talked about these these achievements that are in the data. Um, hold on. This stuff, I'm excited to do this stuff. I like them adding stuff like this. It is super cool and I can't wait to check that out. And there's that cool horse. That horse is gonna be sweet. I'm trying to get all the the collection of all the horsemen rain uh, looking mounts. And now, number five w was gonna be warlocks, but I'm actually the the warlocks for everyone is a good thing. Check out my warlock video. I I talk about the lore behind it and how I love that warlocks are for everyone. Uh, Shout out to Eridar Draenei skin. If Eridar Draenei skin was coming with the Warlocks, I would put Warlocks as number five. But number five has changed, okay? Number five is these time rifts. Because I was just looking at the vendors here, and I'm actually gonna do a whole video on these. All right, another whole video. It's gonna kind of be a continuation of uh, the transmog video, but I am super excited about these time rifts now. And uh, FYI, if you if you do check out this video, it's gonna pop up right here. They pop the the vendors are here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for time rifts and stuff. So yeah, those are the five things I'm excited for in the new patch. Uh, thank you for watching my video as always. Expect a what to do first video 
and a video where I talk about this stuff uh, is coming up. There's going to be my dig video and then um, my predictions for 10.1.7. Anyways, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.